We are live. We are live, I think. Well. We are, look at that. Well, 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 well. How you doing? Welcome, Facebook. Okay, I'm going to be running the same setup as I always do, which is my laptop there, so I can let people into the group and do a little bit of the commenting. Because when you use this software um, on your computer to do the Facebook live streaming, it's a little bit laggy. Um, so I'm just going to be having a look around, see who we've got. We've got some people in there. Ravenol Chambers. The video maestro himself, uh, guest on Excellence Expected in the past. We did a really good session, actually. Um, so welcome to that. We've got a few people jumping online. Let me know who you are in the comments, please. Give us a little comment because, again, this software, you can't see people joining. Um, so say hi in the comments. We've got a few people in there already. Now, check this out underneath. What? We've got some new stuff. We've got the new branding launching very soon. Mr. Daniel Moore's online. Wedding pictures look nice, old C. Um, so we've got the new branding starting to go out. Um, the new ID. We've got uh, the new typefaces. We've got this new little device for highlighting things. And this is part of a big suite of things that is launching very, very soon. So I'm kind of slowly but surely launching those and rolling those out. I should get a t-shirt as well. So I'm not always wearing the talk hard one. But I like it. So we're cool. Constantinos, we've got Meg. Good to see everyone. We've got a fair few people actually joining now, which is good. And don't forget, you can get this on the replay uh, as well. So what I'm going to talk about today is, is kind of a tutorial on pivoting. And I might break it up into two sessions, actually, because it is a bit of a chunk. Now, if you head to, uh, to this link down here, exex.link slash first pivot, there's a big 4,500 word tutorial uh, about this, which is... The, uh, it's the, let me find it when I can bloody get the title here. Seven reasons you should be thinking about your first pivot, plus five steps to a results driven relaunch. Um, so seven reasons that you should perhaps be thinking about a pivot and then five steps for taking the plunge. But I just want to set the scene as to why I wrote this a little bit. Um, it's an interesting one because anything that I've ever done in business uh, has been kind of the result of a change, the result of a, of a pivot. And the word pivot sounds really grand. It sounds really big and bold and brash. And, you know, it sounds really cool. And people talk about it in startup circles. It's, it's been, you know, this big, grandiose thing that a successful company undertook a long time ago um, that led them to be what they are now. You know, you think about Instagram being bourbon and then turning into Instagram. It feels like this big, grandiose thing. But a lot of the time, actually, all a pivot is, is, is responding to something, is taking hold of something that's not working and making it work in a different way or testing something else and you know proving that something else is the right way to do it and we've done this in in all the businesses that i've ever been involved in you know if you take hacksaw the agency hacksawstudio.com go and have a look at that and then maybe go back to the wayback machine back in the day and have a look at some of the old sites you know look at my old design loft site look at the old pixel one site look at um even the grassroots site that we've got up there the old dmsqd site the dm2 creative site these are all websites and versions of our business that came from just pivoting out of something else. You know, we, we started as a local web company, moved into a local web company that did other things. That was one pivot. Then we moved into providing startup services. That was another pivot. And now we, we changed into to a brand design and digital consultancy and a digital agency. You know, we, we build things for some amazing brands across the world. And each part of that has been thanks to a pivot, a change, a test of something else. What happens if we try doing this? What happens if we just try doing this kind of work? What happens if we pitch for that contract? What happens if we market ourselves in this way? So, you know, a pivot's not a, a, a big, arduous, insurmountable, grandiose kind of startup reserved thing. But at the same time, it is a thing. It is something that you need to be looking at. And I wrote this tutorial, so the one that's down there, I wrote the tutorial with um, kind of solo entrepreneurs, early stage entrepreneurs, people like you, me, Meg, Constantinos, Dan, you know, people like Don, all the guys that are watching. Wrote it with us in mind because when you think about kind of what you do, you turn up to work, you turn up to whatever, you turn up to Hacksaw, you turn up to your own business. And sometimes all you're doing is kind of be. 